Hi, I'm Josie from Riding Warehouse and today I'm going to be showing you how to braid your horse for both eventing and dressage. We'll be doing rosette braids with yarn as well as button braids with braiding bands and quick knot braiding clips. If you know that you have a competition coming up, you're going to want to pull your horse's mane ahead of time. How much you pull depends on personal preference, but most people like to leave the mane three to five inches long. Just keep in mind that the more mane you leave, the more braids you're going to have to do. Most people like their horse's mane to lay on the right side when it is braided, so if your horse's mane naturally lays on the left side, you might want to train it over before your competition. Before you get started, you're going to want to gather a few supplies. You're going to want to have a pulling comb, a mane comb, mane clips, quick braid, yarn braiding bands or braiding clips, a pull through and seam ripper if you're using yarn, scissors, an apron, and a stool. When it's time to braid, you'll want to have your horse tied somewhere with minimal distractions. Get all of your tools together ahead of time and have them close by. You will want a step stool so that you are able to reach the mane. If you are using yarn, you will want to cut long sections before you start. How many sections you could cut depends on the length of your horse's neck and how many braids you intend on doing. Today, with this size of horse, I will cut 16. Today, we are going to start by doing rosette braids. Eventers like these braids because they look beautiful and they stand for both dressage and show jumping. Typically, eventers like smaller braids that are close together, but you can adjust this based on what looks best with your horse. I generally break the mane into about two inch sections for each braid. You can adjust this based on how thick your horse's mane is. I use my comb to make a clean division between the braid I'm working on and the rest of the mane. I then use a clip to keep the rest of the mane out of the way. By spraying quick braid at the top, it will be easier to collect the hair into a braid and keep it neat looking. As I braid down, I try to keep the braid as tight as possible. Once I get about halfway down, I will begin to braid in the yarn. Once I get to the end of the braid, I tie my yarn twice to make sure the braid stays secure. Next, I make an overhand knot with the braid. You will want this knot to be tight so that it stays in. Now, you use the pull through to pull the yarn through the top of the mane. Then you will want to tie it once below the braid and once above in a half knot. I tie it one last time at the very top to finish up the braid. Next, we're gonna be talking about doing button braids with braiding bands. Braiding bands are quicker to use than yarn, but generally they don't stay in as well. You can use braiding bands if you're braiding the day of the show. Many dressage riders use braiding bands because they don't need the braids to stay in over fences. The beginning steps are the same here as what we did for the rosette braids, only you don't need to add in the yarn. Once you get to the end of the braid, you will want to secure it with a rubber band. Then fold up the braid so that it is in a neat ball and secure it once again with a band or two. You will do this for the entire mane. Finally, I'm going to show you how to do button braids with the quick knot braiding clips. These clips are extremely handy for doing a quick braid that stays in well. Braid the mane down like before and use a rubber band to secure it. Fold the braid into a ball, then slip a quick knot clip through the middle. To secure the braid, all you have to do is bend the end of the clip. Once you are finished braiding your mane, you're going to want to braid the forelock. You can use yarn or braiding bands for the forelock, but today I'm going to use yarn. Start by spraying quick braid on the hair. Try to be careful not to spook the horse since you're working between his ears. I prefer to French braid the forelock because it tends to look neater. Like the mane, 
Halfway through the braid, you will add yarn. Braid it the rest of the way and knot the yarn. You then use the pull through to pull the end of the yarn through the top of the braid. Then pull each individual strand of yarn to the opposite side and tie it to secure the braid. Thanks for watching our video on how to braid for eventing and dressage. For more information and to purchase all of your braiding supplies, please visit us at ridingwarehouse.com.